Agro Swain and welcome everyone to Agro Swain Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Junior Swain. Of course, in this video feature, as the title says, we are going to transplant some golden apple seedling into a bigger pot. Now, of course, this is just a small project that I'm doing to help someone who intend to have like a, I don't know, golden apple farm maybe. So they've got quite a few plants. Now, one of the interesting thing I'm going to do in this video feature, I'm going to try my best to actually transplant at least three to five seedlings this one has three in it this one i believe has three also this one had five this one had five seedlings but as you can see one basically did not make it and that is usually what happens when you have a golden apple seed sometimes it would only send out one plant like this and this plant to be very healthy because it's only that one plant that's going from the pot and then you have the situation where you have at least three to four to five seedlings going out from one seed now what nature would do is that it will eliminate the weakest one so as you can see the first plant to die is this one because the strongest plant is starting to dominate the pot itself but what i'm going to try to do because the person requested that i transplanted it for them so today is actually full moon so what i'm going to try to do i'm going to try my best to transplant this the reason i'm transplanting it on full moon is that because the golden apple plant is not easy to transplant and the best way to ensure that it actually survives is to transplant it on the night of full moon what happened the moon will be going down from tonight for the next seven days the moon will be sinking as a result there will be a lot more underground growth taking place that means a lot of root development so as a result the plant will look like it's taking time to grow but the root will develop quick enough for it to recover and then for the next full moon what I will go ahead to do is to prune the plant seven days before full moon so it could actually send out a lot more branches a lot more foliage on top of the ground okay so thank you so very much guys I hope that you enjoyed this video please remember that the backyard garden in some ways will It'll keep the doctors away it will keep poverty away and it'll keep hunger away let's go ahead and transplant these golden apple seedlings into a bigger pot and as you would see also i use some very organic material to create or to get this potting or planting soil let's go ahead okay guys so we're going to transplant one of the single golden apple trees first now if you're wondering what exactly i used to make the soil what i did i used compost material i used some pro mix material mixed with organic um vermicore and organic compost material I use some soil I use some paper also so I use some paper and definitely I use coconut pith to ensure that it has the ability to be very light and able to retain moisture so this is a very good mixture um, I know the plant will do pretty well in this one right here okay so first thing you're gonna want to do for that single golden apple plant in your pot if you notice your golden apple plant is very stiff at the base that means it's very easy to just turn over the small pot and pop out the seedling and just transplant it but if you notice it is weak you have to ensure that you hold on to the base so just put your fingers between it like that and just pop it down slowly and gently and then you have this as you can see here the roots have started to develop so it's pretty much easy to transplant just turn it over and drop it down in there now as you can see center of the pot okay so now just press it down you don't need to break it but just press it down and then go ahead and add some of that material on the side and of course press it down and then of course go ahead and give the plant some water What you can do is put this one on top so any excess water will just leach down into the other one and here you have it you've got your golden apple plant transplanted in a bigger pot um, of course please try your best to have it seated in an area where the water will not just go to waste so you see like if i have it placed here that leached water will go back down into the soil right here in the bed and it will help to feed the other plants so please try your best to always place it somewhere where that extra moisture the extra water do not go to waste okay guys so we have to change up our setting a bit because it's drizzling and um, it's stopped now but i'll just stay here because the weather is kind of grayish so i'm gonna add some water right here okay adding some water to this black basin right here now of course the, one of the things about the golden apple plant is that there's a seed there's a, 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 a unified seed 
and all the plants grew out from that seed so you have no choice at times if you want to try to save all the seedling you have to just go ahead and have them placed into the water let the soil just break off try your best not to break the roots yourself okay that is the sad reality is that the plants this type of seed is not easy to separate the seedling okay because the plant itself or the, the seedlings themselves um, all grow out from one seed so just gonna shake it up a bit as you can see here it is that one seed with three seedlings now full moon is tonight this water is very cold and the weather is actually rainy so that's a perfect time to basically expose this plant's root system um, and hope that they will recover okay guys so we're just going to try to slowly break off the seedlings so as you can see some of them actually detach already from the seed see this one nice this one already easily detached these two are very pretty much embedded see this seeing this right here this one is very much embedded pretty well as you can see right here guys this one the, the middle one is the toughest plant it not only is the biggest one and toughest one as you can see right here i'm not quite sure if you can see but this is part of the root system of this plant so now that if it's grown out from the seed right it is naturally sending down a root from the seed so up and then sending out a big root which is that's the main root from the seed so this is the one we have to try to remove um, very carefully but it's, it's, it seems like it's well held up in there so let's just okay so here it is okay try my best okay so here it is we got some root system let's hope that it survives um so what we are gonna do right now just gonna have the pot right here seated in the water so that that water that soil can be very moist very moist and waterlogged don't worry it will not stay like that because of the fact that this is a light type of soil it's not very um loamy or clay it's very light so the plant should recover better from it okay so let's let's just have this one on the side there and get this on the pot wet up the soil try our best to have this in here Of course, um, by let's say by next full moon, we will know if this was successful or not, guys. By next full moon, okay? Because if we notice that the plant it continues to grow, that means it's it's pretty successful. As you can see, the last one I'm going to transplant, of course, is the one which will be most likely um, the survivor in this experiment, um, which is the main plant, which in itself is still attached to the seed. Um, okay, so it, there's a greater chance that it will survive than the others But the funny thing about plants is the one you think is the weakest becomes the strongest at times Okay, so don't ever give up on your seedlings don't ever give up on your plants because you'll be surprised Okay, so here we have it Now what we have to ensure is that these plants do not get any sort of sunlight um, As yet for the next two days possibly just leave it in a very cool breezy area very cool area because you don't want it to be exposed to sun for it to basically struggle to grow one of the things i'm now going to do i'm going to remove some of the leaves okay so that it will have less strain on the plant root system so always remember when you transplant a plant with a very weak arm root system especially when the roots have been exposed try to take out basically most of the leaves and leave a few um so that it can survive but if you leave too many leaves that means it will demand a lot of water and a lot of energy from the root system itself and that can cause the plant to die from ex exhaustion i know it sounds almost impossible but just as we can get exhausted as human beings so can the plants so you just want to remove not all the leaves but most of the leaves and just leave it with a um, few so that it can photosynthesize but so that it will not struggle or the root system will not struggle okay well guys i hope that you enjoyed this video where i basically transplanted quite a few golden apple seedlings um as you can see here we've got a few in the smaller container and then we've got some in the bigger container we only have two which will most likely stay out in the sun 
these two they were already in their original pot by themselves so they're pretty much strong enough to stay out in the sun and there's a very slim chance that they will wilt and die because their root system was not disturbed so what we are going to do with all these plants i'm gonna just take up this container right here and have it somewhere shaded but warm not warm as in hot but where cool breezes blowing but it's warm enough that they can actually recover and grow out possibly i'll give you guys an update for the next full moon or two full moon away from this date um, i will try my best to take pictures as it's recovering or as it's growing and sending out new leaves for you guys but i hope that you're encouraged please try your best if you have a golden apple um seed and you've got quite a few seedlings one two three growing out from the seed please try your best to salvage some of the seedlings if it is that you are not able to salvage all the seedlings ensure that the main one which is the strongest one attached to the seed that you keep it attached okay the ones which are bending from the side of the seed or those who are weak looking you can go ahead and take them out and transplant them try your best to transplant them when the moon is going down so that their roots can recover better so that it can recover quickly so thank you so very much i hope indeed that you guys were encouraged oh one more thing this is actually my golden apple plant um which i basically transplanted same way but like about three months ago and it's doing pretty well thank you so very much please remember guys the backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away it will keep poverty away and it will keep hunger away thank you so very much and agris wade is out